listen, sing, and learn. It's story time with Miss Sheila. Hello, I'm Miss Sheila, and welcome to Story Time. I have some wonderful characters of mine that represent you because they are different. They don't look anything alike, but they found out they have a lot in common. And we're going to find out about Hannah and Dexter in the book we're going to read today called Hannah and Dexter Go to the White House. So please get in your most comfortable seat for our book of the week. Hannah and Dexter Go to the White House, written by Sheila Martina, illustrated by Jessica Hickman. Let's go inside. With wide, bright, and dreamy eyes, Hannah and Dexter arrived in Washington, D.C. The young travelers were very enthusiastic about their trip with their teacher, Miss Ryder. Hannah and Dexter were among eight other boy and girl history champions from different states to be invited to the White House for a two-day workshop. After much anticipation, Dexter said, I sure hope I get to meet the President of the United States. This was all Dexter could think about. The President is such a busy man, we should not expect to see him during our visit, Miss Rightover said. Hannah had other thoughts. I really want to see what the First Lady wears. While the students were seated on the bus outside the White House, Mr. Oliver, the other chaperone for the trip said, I expect all of you to be on your best behavior. Dexter heard Mr. Oliver, but all he could think about was meeting the president. He told Hannah, I bought a biography of our president so I'll know all the right things to say when I meet him. With a big sigh, Hannah said, oh, Let it go, Dexter. The chance of you meeting the president is zero to none. In a stern voice, Mr. Oliver said, no one is to leave the group without permission. Miss Rightover and I are the only two selected as chaperones for this trip, so we need you all to stay together. Miss Rightover gently stated, All of you won this trip to Washington, D.C. to tour the White House, learn about its history, and attend a special history workshop hosted by a special guest. Dexter said, I am certain the president will be the special guest. The bus boomed with thunderous laughter. Just then, Miss Rideover started singing a tune to the old familiar favorite, He's Got the Whole World in His Hand. You've got to listen to your teachers. When they speak, you've got to listen to the teachers. When they speak, you've got to listen to the teachers. When they speak, it's all a part of the learning plan. Consequently, when the history champions got unruly, did not listen to the speaker, or did not raise their hands before speaking, Miss Rideover would sing a lesson. Miss Rideover finished the first line in her new song, and the students on the bus were quiet and attentive again. After everyone got off the bus, Mr. Oliver asked, Are there any questions before we go inside? Hannah raised her hand and asked, can we walk in pairs by state? Good question, replied Mr. Oliver. The boy and girl representatives of the five states will walk in pairs. The excitement filled the air again and their murmuring became a loud noise. This time, Miss Rideover clapped her hands while singing. You've got to talk one at a time to be heard. You've got to talk one at a time. To be heard, you've got to talk one at a time. To be heard, it's all a part of the learning plan. The history champions became quiet. Mr. Oliver told each pair of students from Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, and Virginia to wear their state tags at all times. Hannah raised her hand again. Yes, Hannah, asked Mr. Rightover. I read that the First Lady gives tours to White House visitors, Hannah said. You read correctly, Hannah. While this is true, 
The First Lady is a very busy woman with other responsibilities. We can't assume she will be available for our tour. Miss Rideover said, we want you to see for yourself what goes on in the most historic house in the nation and find out about its importance. A short lady walked down the hall towards the group. Dexter whispered to Hannah, that is not the first lady. Duh, smirked Hannah. The first lady would not wear that polka dot outfit anywhere. The friendly lady confidently greeted the group. Good morning, my name is Avis, and I would like to introduce all of you to your tour guide. A graceful figure emerged as the door opened. It was the First Lady of the United States of America herself, Michelle Obama. She had on her iconic sleeveless dress. Her white vintage pearl necklace and earrings matched her green dress perfectly. Moreover, Mrs. Obama's hair was shoulder length, black and shiny. Hannah and Dexter stood with their mouths wide open in surprise, while everyone else started jumping up and down and yelling, Hi, Miss Zo! Good morning, First Lady! She's even prettier in person! It's really her! Free from her state of shock, Hannah said, Wow, Mrs. Obama, I love your outfit. Dexter asked excitingly, Where's the president? Their enthusiasm continued until Miss Rideover started singing again. You have to raise your hand before you speak. You have to raise your hand before you speak. You have to raise your hand before you speak. It's all a part of the learning plan. After giving each of the 10 students a warm hug, the first lady greeted them in the blue room. Welcome, history champions, to the White House. We are honored that you are here with us and hope that you will be more enlightened when you leave. Would anyone like to guess how many people visit the White House each day? Hannah raised her hand. I read about 6,000 people. Mrs. Obama smiled and said, well, Hannah from South Carolina, you are correct. Dexter grinned and whispered to Hannah, they probably are coming to see the president. As they strolled down the halls, Dexter peeked into every open space closet and office he passed, looking to catch a glimpse of the president. The next room they visited was the East Room. This is where the First Ladies host large gatherings, such as concerts, weddings, press conferences, and bill signing ceremonies, the First Lady announced. Mrs. Obama asked more questions to the history champs about the White House and its occupants. Her second question was, who can tell us the names of the first occupants of the White House? Mrs. Obama noticed that everyone wanted to answer first. So she said, let's start with Florida and go up the Eastern coast. Since you are in groups of twos, you can talk it over with your partner before answering. Florida, do you know? Monique did not check with Dudley before she yelled, I do believe it was George and Martha Washington. While Monique was talking, Dexter sneaked away to ask a White House staff member, is the president here today? Mrs. Obama was a bit disappointed when Monique answered incorrectly. She said, I'm sorry, Monique from Florida, that is incorrect. The history champs from Georgia were next. When she saw Dexter two doors down, Hannah got nervous and asked Mr. Oliver for permission to go and get Dexter. She found him asking a chef, did you see the president today? Hannah grabbed him by the arm. You have to come with me. As they rushed back, Mrs. Obama was asking the Georgia crew, do you know who the first White House occupants were? Naron and Jay Auntie looked at each other, but did not have a clue of what the answer could be. After Giante gave 
a long pause, she offered a guess. Thomas and Martha Jefferson? I'm sorry, Georgia Crew, that is incorrect, Mrs. Obama said as she motioned her head from side to side. Maybe the South Carolina crew can tell us who the first occupants of the people's house were? Hannah and Dexter made it back just in time to simultaneously answer, Abigail and John Adams. The first lady seemed impressed with their unity and their precision. You are correct, Hannah and Dexter from South Carolina. Nice job. The next room that Mrs. Obama led the history champions to was the Vermel room. Before she could ask the next question, Hannah and Dexter said in unison, the first lady's pictures are in this room. Mrs. Obama said, you're right, South Carolina crew. The portraits of the first ladies of the United States of America are in this room. I'm glad to know that at least one first lady looked like my mom said Dexter confidently. Mrs. Obama laughed and said, <laughs> I'm glad too, Dexter of South Carolina. Since it was the North Carolina's crew's turn to answer the next question, Dexter slipped off again to search for the president. Mrs. Obama asked the champs from North Carolina, what year did the letterheads change to White House? Lewis and Michaela debated on the correct answer to their question, only to agree on the wrong year. Even the Virginia crew, Ianla and Nathaniel, did not know the correct year. Now the question was open to everyone. Hannah chose to answer without consulting Dexter, who was peeking in an open door for the president. The year was 1901 when President Theodore Roosevelt changed the name from the president's house to the White House, Hannah answered. That is correct, Hannah from South Carolina, said Mrs. Obama. The first lady asked seven more questions before the visit ended. Overall, Hannah and Dexter answered five questions correctly. On the second day of the workshop, Mrs. Obama asked the history champs 10 more questions about the White House. She announced, the group that correctly answered the most questions from the past two days will be selected to sit at the head table and asked to speak at the closing banquet this evening. After a gasp, enthusiasm rang out with everyone hoping that they are selected. Miss Rideover immediately sang another song. You've got to listen to the tour guide. When she speaks, you got to listen to the tour guide. When she speaks, you've got to listen to the tour guide. When she speaks, it's all a part of the learning plan. The first lady smiled and said, thank you, Miss Rideover. That is such a wonderful way to bring order. That evening, as Miss Rideover talked to Hannah and Dexter, they shared their excitement about the banquet. Hannah said, I can't wait to see what Mrs. Obama wears tonight. Dexter said, I hope the president is her special guest. At the banquet, Mrs. Obama wore a bright red sleeveless gown with long pearls and designer earrings to accent her outfit. Hannah was thrilled because red was her favorite color. Mrs. Obama welcomed everyone and introduced several special guests. We are honored to have Michelle Kwan, creative ice skater, Will Smith, a versatile actor with a big heart, Justin Bieber, a popular young singer, Oprah Winfrey, an awesome philanthropist and entrepreneur, and Mark Anthony, a sought after singer of Latin and salsa inspired music. Just when everyone thought she was finished, Ms. Obama asked, would everyone help me welcome my final guest of the evening? He is an excellent example of what a leader, husband, and father should be. Not to mention, he's cute too. Before he could speak, Dexter saw a tall man in a black suit put his finger to his lips as he stood at the door. Please welcome my husband, our president, Barack Obama, Mrs. Obama announced. 
everyone cheered and stood as the President of the United States walked as cool as he pleased to his seat. Mrs. Obama announced, the South Carolina crew answered most of the 20 questions correctly. Hannah Maccabee and Dexter Baker, please join us at the head table. At last, Dexter met the president and he sat right beside President Obama at the banquet. They talked to each other all evening. As Dexter stood to speak, he straightened his tie and looked right at President Obama. He hoped the president noticed the similarity in their ties. Then he said, my favorite place in the White House is the Oval Office because it is where our first African-American president sits, thinks, and meets to make our country a better place to live. Hannah spoke next and said, this was a fun workshop. My favorite place in the White House is the Blue Room because that is where we were greeted by Mrs. Obama, our tour guide. I got to see fashion up close. President Obama gave the final remarks. If you want to see good examples of respect and teamwork, just look at Dexter and Hannah of South Carolina. Ms. Rideover, Mr. Oliver, President Obama, and Mrs. Obama joined Hannah and Dexter for a photo as they held their special trophies that read White House History Champion 2016. Dexter planned to show the photo to all his boys while Hannah planned to take her trophy for all her friends to see. The end. Special thanks to pianist Carolyn Burns, singer LaDonna Hayward, and you for watching. If you enjoyed watching us, please like and subscribe. Goodbye.